Hello everybody, and welcome to Oaks Farm on Farming Simulator 2013. Today, what I have for you is not the Farming Simulator series yet. Still going through mods to show you guys. Today, what I have in store for our mods are trailers. These are all the trailers I have on Farming Simulator. Now, okay, uncalled for. Here, as you all know, is the uh, PJ trailer, PJ Gooseneck. Let's come right on over here. Right here, PJ Trailer. Buy it for seven thousand dollars. Now today we're going to be using the uh, Ford F three fifty flatbed truck to uh, haul some things I have over here. Now. I will get this up here we go. Now here the gooseneck. Ugh, maybe a different truck. Um press X and your ramps will unfold and then O um will lock and unlock your truck or er, sorry trailer um now for the pj trailer i would usually haul like uh maybe another truck or maybe a tractor or you know a gator in the atv well for here we'll just haul one of these we'll haul a tractor here just because so, we'll get the uh, tractor run on up. Now, ooh. I could probably fit two tractors on here. Let's see. Uh, no, I do not need to take care of the golf course. Oh, oh yeah, I probably should have turned off the lights. Oh, well. Now, just to make sure we got enough room. Alright, yep, this is big enough for two tractors. If I could have a ramp like right there, I could probably put the ATV on. Alright, let's turn off lights. Now this thing will probably jerk up because I got two tractors up here. So we will raise the thing, the ramps, lock our load. And as you can see, I'm doing this no problem. Yeah too much weight on here as you can see the jerking if you can see is because of the uh, weight I have on here and all too much weight um, yeah one tractor I'd be able to haul this easily no problem so that is the uh, PJ trailer. And I have for you today. And moving on. These two trailers here are called the Williams flatbed. These come in a pack. 
for I for Williams flatbed trailer. Get this for almost three grand. Then you have the other one, which is almost four grand. Differences because as you can see here, length. That is the uh, difference. So, uh, we'll use this truck and uh, haul these two trailers with something. Okay, yeah. Um, now these. That didn't help. Now these are more of a you got to get out of the truck for. Now, as you can see here, right at the back, and it says X install ramp. That's the installing ramp. Now, over here, you can lower crates, which means that's lowering. And then remove, pressing C removes that completely and then you can add them and raise them so we will haul the ATV on uh, this little flatbed trailer here well this is what I usually haul the ATV on anyways when uh, I'm not using my landscaper truck um, yeah. and we will remove and we will raise the back back crate um, now we'll get in it we will lock it and now we can uh Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. I guess I didn't lock it. Um. Yeah, there's that first flatbed trailer. Alright. Um, I'm, I, I, you guys, um. Same thing with the other one. Uh, you got to get out of the truck to, you know, install and dis install the uh, um, trailer ramps and stuff. Now this truck, er, tractor. Now this trailer is only doing that because normally on trailers it will automatically lift up the uh, thing there. On here, you have to raise the jack. To do that, you press 8. That will go up. And then there. Our tires are actually on the ground. Now, to lower the gate, you press 9. This is all on the numpad, by the way. And then, there you go. Now, I this is the... Uh, I should probably tell you the name. This is the utility trailer thousand bucks easy to use I use it all the time for my bobcat or ATV depending on you know which trailer I buy first so where is this up here get this turned around And we will back her on if it lets me. Okay, I guess I can't back it on. I have to drive it on here if I can get it 
lined up. Why is this jumping? It shouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, some job I am of getting this on here. In there. Now I'll raise the gate and unpad nine. We will lock it up. And uh away we go, yeah see? It's on there. Yeah. This truck has a lot of acceleration on us. I don't like it. That's one thing they should fix on this truck. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Moving on. Now. These two trailers come in a package. What might these trailers be for you wonder? Well... This PJ trailer, or this semi-trailer, which I will get to later in the video, are not big enough to hold the combine. Or any combine, except your normal crappy starter combine. So, that's what these are for or for any other big oversized uh, vehicles. This trailer, my friends, is the let me hear, trailer tech, trail tech. Both getting for the same price, 97.5. And uh, the only difference is uh, their size, length, I should say, length. Now, let's go ahead, get in our awesome uh, John Deere semi that I love so much, and I don't know if I can get the combine on the small one, I've never tried, but I'll, it always works on the big one, so let's... We'll just get the small one on here and try it. Now, the legs under here do not automatically come up either. Those you have to uh, bring up on your own. Now, first one, key X, unfold law boy. Well, that is this. It's only jumping because I haven't moved up those legs, but... I'm only moving that so I can get these out. Now this is the unfold of the trailer. And your ramps move out. Exciting, huh? Alright, now that that's done, you can move the ramps by pressing M that just brings them in or brings them out. Um, now Z. Lower ramps. Those are going to open up. Okay. Now N. Lower upload supporter. That's those right here. So we'll press N, up they come. Now, as you will be able to tell, it does no longer, it no longer jumps. The trailer. So, and then O, you lock and unlock. Now, from here, I mean something's Combine's too big. Um, yeah, let me see. 
going to my tractors here. Oh, uh, maybe. Where is it? Oh, did I, did I click on the gator? No, not that. Okay, now, here she is. Now, I wonder if this is small enough. Hey, no. did that yeah because as you all know this tractor is not going to fit on that PJ okay something is not right I do not know why it is doing this Okay, uh, you know what? You, you guys get the point, right? Okay, moving on to the next trailer. Get this all. I don't know if it's going to automatically do that. Nope. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next one here, which doesn't kick, at least it shouldn't, well not kick, like jump. Maybe something up. Uh, same, same controls. Just going to unload there. Now, the only... Press end here real quick. Raise those up. Yeah, don't forget those, otherwise your trailer's gonna go bouncing all over and you're gonna wonder why is it doing that. This is a crappy mod, and then delete it. And then you have to look for something like this to haul your combines all the way across the map. Because they only move 12 miles an hour on the road. Now, we will. Lower our ramps. And good to go. Now add and back supplements B. That's all it does. See them here in the middle? And they come out here in the sides. That's uh when, like say, your tires here come all the way out to this side, right here, and uh, you're super low here in the middle, then your middle of the truck is going to get stuck up on there. Well, press B, and there you go. It's going to level it out so you won't get stuck. But, in the case of the combine, it will not get stuck because it's it's got all that room under there. Let's get her started up. Now we will drive our way over. Up. Okay. Yeah, that only happened because I drove off by accident. Off here. Right. Stop going so fast and go slow for once. Okay. Alrighty then. Why this isn't working today? Because it always works when I'm uh, playing 
in the game. Let's get those back supports on. Maybe that's why. Try this again. Now I'm starting to get annoyed how this isn't working. Okay, up we go. Hey, hey. Made it. Now you guys get the point. I would put the ramps up and drive away. Well, now just to shorten things up. We're going to go to the semi trailer which I haven't used in a while now to find it right here transport semi version $15,000 not bad because you can transport your machinery around all over now if to open the ramp, you press X. And there you go. Lift stands. That would be these. Make sure you lift those up and put those down when you're done using them. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it hooked up under your semi again. And you'll have to sell it and then buy it. Um, activate wide load warnings so if you had something wide or heavy you would simply press the B button these little things would come out press the home key and uh, on they go both sides now They still work even when they're closed. Now, oh, you're lacking on lock, same as always. We'll turn that off. And we'll grab a semi, or not a semi, tracker. We'll grab two because we're on a semi. Semi's got some power. Now the PJ trailer you could actually hook up to a semi if you wanted to. Um, then it's pointless getting the PJ when you could just buy this. Now where it says stop, you want to drive your tires up to that line. If you go any further, you're going to glitch through and I'll show you later. So now we'll go get the other one. Do this one in first person, maybe. Alrighty, and up we go. Alright. Then X, lock it, and then off you go. Alright, know what I mean? Clipping through I really literally mean it watch if you're to keep going thinking you're gonna bump think again see and if there wasn't a semi there you would have gotten stuck now what I also mean by make sure you put uh, the legs on the trailer down when you're done well press Q unhook Get out. Alright, now I want you to back up and try and hook it up. 
think the tractor's holding it down? Well, if I can get it off, I will show you that it's not. And there, tractor's off. And uh, tell me you can get that. Just, just make sure you get those uh, down when you're finished. Otherwise, you're gonna have a problem. And uh, that's all I got for trailers for you guys today. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Those are always nice. We like those, and I'm sure you would love to give them to us. We like feedback. Um. And yeah, that's that's all I got. Have a wonderful day, and uh, I will see you again. Peace.